Hello, people. This is Lion Styles being joined by Young Blood Fantasy, and this is a Helter Skelter rant. I am a cool cat with a passion for video games, and he is a striped tiger with a six-year-old sidekick. And together, by our awesome sauce powers combined, we are the Helter Skelter Ranners. Indeed I put that. that are. <laughs> I said that because I saw that in the one comment, and my God, that was amazing. Indeed. <laughs> All right. So today's topic is going to be about vegans and vegetarians. Oh, dear God. And guess what precipitated this topic, ladies and gentlemen? Young author Adam made a video in response to the well-known YouTube user Onision, who, may I add, is a freakishly strange mental case who makes videos that even defies fans' interpretations. Honestly, he is the only person I've ever seen that can offend three different groups of people, vegans, vegetarians, and atheists. Exactly. And, I mean, the reason we're talking about this is because just like PETA, he likes to force his opinions down people's throats and call everybody a murderer who eats meat. And yet when we eat plants, we don't – go around or, or we don't go around saying hey if you if you eat meat you'll be better in life we don't go around shoving it down your throat so what gives you the um temerity to go around and say we we can't eat meat or else we kill things you know it just is a stupid it's just is a stupid idea i mean i don't go around forcing religion down everyone's throats i don't go around forcing you know what to watch down your throats in terms of movies so what gives you any audacity to shove it down our throats what we're supposed to eat to be quite it's, honest, it's like a balanced diet consists of everything. Exactly, exactly. And uh, let me let's just be let's let's be frank here. Let's be fair here for a minute. Not all vegetarians and vegans aren't that batch insane. In fact, there are some vegans and vegetarians that I know that understand the balance and they know that and they know that meat is not all bad, but they still eat what they want to eat because they want to save said animal. Oh, of course. They understand the circle of life, and they understand that if it, if there's an overpopulation of one specific thing, that the world can, you know, go, fall into chaos, if you want to put it like that. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, let's just be fair here. Like, there are some vegetarians and vegans that are not that bad, but, I mean, there's just some that are fucking insane. And Ad Adam's video basically proved it with this one guy who – who he still scratches my head on how insane some of these some of these vegans and vegetarians are. It's like it I I get confused by this. Like mm -hmm. it really really just leaves me at a loss for words. You know what I mean? Exactly. I mean, let me tell you let me tell you something. You have the food chain, right? And I've t I've taken a two semester biology course and I should know this by now. You have your primary producers on the bottom. Those are the plants because they produce energy on their own from the sun. Okay, it's called photosynthesis. You know, it takes the sun's energy and produces oxygen and sugars through the Calvin cycle. Then you have your primary consumers. Those are your herbivores. You know, things that eat plants. Then you have your secondary consumers. Those are the animals that eat the car the uh, herbivores. You know, those are the carnivores like tigers and other people. You could probably consider you can consider having a tertiary consumer. But for our purposes, secondary consumers is the highest on top. So when someone mentions this food chain, the person says it's a logical fallacy because it's an appeal to nature, which doesn't make any fucking sense considering the fact that the food chain is pretty much the standard for everything on this planet. Okay, if you don't have a food chain, the, ego, the, the ecosystems alone can be unstable. There are these things called fundamental and realized niches. Once you have a fundamental niche, the, the occupying species fulfills that niche. However, if you just – if everything is just out of proportion, all those niches could be affected because biotic factors have changed, and thus you can either have an overrun of species like from plants or from animals, or you could have something known as like a – like – like, for instance, if, like, let's say you have coyotes in a certain area and those coyotes stop eating, you could also have what is known as mesopredator release, which means that a whole bunch of animals could appear that normally do not appear in a certain area, and that could probably just, you know, shift the balance of the ecosystem to an unstable environment. 
Yeah, have you ever heard of Anticosti Island, guys? Ever heard of that? Deer came into the island, okay, and ate every single spruce thing ever there, okay? That caused that plant to die out on that island completely, okay? That's what happens when you infuse a species randomly like that. So ecosystems are important, especially the food chain. If you guys don't understand that, then clearly you don't know your biology, and they have the temerity to say that we don't know anything. That's my reply. Exactly. Um, but you have to remember, young blood. you have to remember, most of them use PETA logic. Yeah, that's the, that's the worst logic to ever go on. I mean, this is the same. They're using logic as in they're comparing meat eaters for people to eat meat and, the, and slaughterhouses to the Holocaust. Oh, that hurts let me. me. Let me just say this right now. That hurts me, man. Yes, go on. Let me, let me just say this right now. There are so many things wrong with that whole entire statement. First off, the Holocaust was done out of spite. Yeah. Let's put that. The Holocaust was done by a man who hated Jews and did out of spite. Exactly. Also, the Holocaust was a genocide to the Jewish people. So you're basically saying that what's going on with the what's going on in slaughterhouses right now is a genocide to cows, even though there are millions and millions of cows worldwide and they're not even considered an endangered species. No, 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 no. They are not an endangered species. They are a commodity. Exactly. They're a commodity. So how can you say that there is a genocide of cows all over the world when they're a fucking commodity? It it just gets me crazy. And then they even have the nerve, because I even heard somebody comparing fucking slaughterhouses and the killing of animals to slavery. How the fuck do you compare a, a slaughterhouse killing animals to slavery? What is it? Huh? What the hell is? How does that even? How does that even have logic? Can anyone explain to me how that how that's logic? And please, and please, please explain that to us without having to like pull a statement out your ass. Please, can you just explain that to us in a reasonable way without having to pull a statement out your ass? Yeah, or without using the appeal to nature card. Seriously, you're overusing that logical fallacy. When you use a logical fallacy as a substitution for scientific evidence, you're pretty much off your rocker. I'm sorry. Comparing something to the Holocaust? Let me tell you something. Okay. I am not here to say that I'm not going to shove the Holocaust down your throats. But I know for a fact that 5,933,900 Jews died in that Holocaust. The reason that it happened was because of eugenics and social Darwinism. Social Darwinism came around through evolution, okay? And social Darwinism pretty much espouses killing off the inferior races. Animals are not an inferior race. They are animals, for God's sake. We're not building a utopia on this planet. We're not actively killing every single fucking cow in existence. If that were the case, then that would mean that every single cow in America is dead by this point, okay? Exactly. Cows can be easily, easily, and I mean it when I say easily, they can be easily um, raised, okay? Cows are, you know, a commodity, much like how other meats are a commodity in America. That's why everyone eats hamburgers, everyone eats cheeseburgers, and for that matter, everyone eats meat. And also, by the way, given the fact that these guys don't know anything about nutrition, there are certain meats, okay, that have amino acids and other important nutrients for the body. If we didn't have that, we wouldn't we would be depriving ourselves. I'm sorry, but that's pretty much the case. We are a heterotrophic species. That means we have to consume other animals that consume plants. We can't make our own energy from the sun. The most we can get is probably vitamin D. That's not even what we need completely. Oh my god, that makes me so angry how people are that ignorant. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. And you know what? If I've always heard this, like, oh, you're murdering, you're a murderer because you eat meat. Well, you know, if I want to, well, if you want to use that logic on me, I can say the following: y'all are murderers for killing plants. Exactly, plants because are plants things. are living things. And I've even heard, I've even heard these retarded comments like, plants aren't living things. Okay, well, if plants aren't living things, um, then all of the plants in the world would be withered and dead. Exactly. If they weren't living things, 
If they weren't living things, they wouldn't be in bloom. No. Grass wouldn't be green. Trees would not have leaves, and they would wither and die. How can you say plants aren't living things when you on? Oh my goodness! <laughs> I cannot. I cannot even imagine how, what what goes through their minds. I really can't. I. It's either the lack of meats that they're eating that's giving them this impression that we're killing animals, or the fact that they're, uh, you know, just just hanging on a delusion, because it's just insane. Yeah, most of them are just most most vegans that follow other people are clone are just clones actually sadly enough they're clones they follow something that's a new fad because they think that you know most people just follow it because they're like oh this guy really speaks to me and he, he's really speaking some truth here so i'm going to follow him to the ends of the earth like most of them are just sheep following a fake martyr that's how i can take it as mm, i agree and those fa- and those fake martyrs sadly are PETA and anybody that follows PETA. Exactly. They are what I like to call animal terrorists because they try to shove their ideologies down our throats and uses forceful tactics to try to think, prove us wrong otherwise. Actually, um, PETA were actually considered eco-terrorists. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I think there's a report going on saying that uh, PETA was actually considered eco-terrorists. Also, let's just say that PETA are – PETA also really retarded because – they said that Steve Irwin was a horrible person for keeping animals in reserves and shit. Wait, why would they say that? They're, he's trying to protect the animals. They didn't know that. That's the thing. That was like a long time ago. They were talking about how the crocodile hunter was a horrible person because he kept animals in zoos under their free will. It's like, you fucking idiots. This man cried because an alligator died. He dedicated his life to protect endangered species and you tell the, and you say that he was a horrible person i guess they make snap judgments cuz they don't look at all the facts just like most vegans and vegetarians do exactly some of them just they just shove it down our throats that meats are bad meats are this meats are that meats are the worst thing on the planet one okay the same person who left the comment on adam's video compared eating meat to drinking alcohol which makes absolutely no fucking sense considering that one, alcohols are, like, they contain, you know, um, it, it's alcohol. It destroys your brain, slowly. Whereas, meats don't destroy you. Okay, yes, it, like, if you eat too much greasy meats, yes, it increases your uh, risk of, like, heart disease. But if we never ate meats, how in the fucking world can we get nutritional value from just plants. Okay, like I said, we don't make our energy from the sun. We have to eat organisms that consume plants because they made their own energy. We can get ATP from that. That's the important thing. If we can't get the ATP, we die. Ever heard of cyanide? That blocks the electron transport chain in the mitochondria of the cell. That blocks the formation of ATP. If we don't have that, we die. We die. Oh, yeah. Another major thing. Sorry if I'm, like, intruding here, but... One of my friends on Skype, I won't mention his name, he says that he has to eat meat to survive. He has this rare disease where if he doesn't eat any meat, he dies. Okay? So how about this, vegan? So if you tell him to just eat just vegetables, he dies. So you want to kill people too? Is that what this is? Again, that's like no one was thinking. thinking. By the way, that person that was um, leaving those comments on Adam's video, oh, he was using Onision judgment, so... You can't really. Yeah, it, it may, yeah, we can totally rely on that. You know, I mean, Onision is pretty much the paragon of reason right here, ladies and gentlemen. He's totally a rational being. You know, I would believe anything he says because I'm someone who falls who falls under the uh, who, who falls under the category of someone who follows any YouTube partner, whatever YouTube partner says. I am a mindless follower, much like the Ray William Johnson and Shane Dawson followers. I am a follower of Onision. I know everything, even though I'm subservient to an authority that's incorrect. I still know everything about everything. You know what I mean? Exactly. And you must believe that Onision is, in fact, a banana. Yes, he's a banana. <laughs> of course. Thank you. He's a banana! Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going <laughs> to stop because I'm giving that fucker way too much credit when I need <laughs> Yeah. Last thing we need is to start bringing up his 
unfunny and cringeworthy videos. Let's not bring that shit up. Okay. Oh, God. I think we're pretty much done just ranting right now, don't you think? So, with that being said, I am Loudon Styles. And I'm Youngblood Fantasy 91. And this is a Helter Skelter rant. And I will see you all in the brighter later, ladies and gentlemen. And I say good day. I said good day!